why, why, uh, oh, stop, stop doing that, please stop, don't, don't go fun, don't, don't, just don't, Oh my, no, 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 stop buffing one creature, what's wrong with you, oh my god, I'm gonna have a mental breakdown at this rate, why, how's it going boys, today on standard we are gonna be playing the automatic planeswalker combo it is really fun and it's really simple we're gonna be using cards like the elephant minus three discover four and with this discover four you can do things like for example well not find elspeth but you could find a broker's ascendancy you could find a different elspeth or you can find realm the realm breaker then we have things like chimel that also fetch planeswalkers and then we have things like elspeth resplendished who can, well, find other planeswalkers or, or, Broker's Ascendancy. Broker's Ascendancy gives us free counters on the plane, uh, planeswalkers, uh, excuse me, loyalty tokens. That's right, loyalty tokens. And then we can get a Rend Realm Breaker to seven, minus, and then play our planeswalkers again for free. It is absolutely amazing. One could arguably call it free real estate. It's a pretty neat combo, and then we have a lot of removal. Depopulate, Suns Fall, Fatal Absence, Get Lost. Four colors in general, but the majority is obviously white, as you can see here. And the Celestus in, uh, an Invasion of Zendikar, just, just because we can at this point. It's beautiful, isn't it? In any case, 24 lands to be specific, 3.5 average mana cost. Not even honestly that high now, is it? And with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a crack and see what happens. Two lands, two locks to dons. Going second, honestly pretty good, unless this is aggro. Which, by the way, uh, a couple of things that you need to understand about this situation. One, since we don't have a lot of life gain, 75% of our games are gonna be against aggro. That's just how math works, baby, okay? Don't question it. This is Wizards patented matchmaking math, okay? And that's the reason, by the way, when you make something with a lot of life gain, you literally never encounter red, because that's unfair to the low IQ players of magic. And this is clearly normal, by the way. Uh, just, you know, if, if, any, if anyone's honestly wondering at this point. In any case, uh, fun times. Fun times. <laughs> Dude, people concede when they see this card on turn one. We got, we we got triple the play. Oh my god, and he's an idiot. Well, it is what it is. Short sure, cycle at chief. I mean, like, what do I care, honestly, at this point? Uh, yeah, you we, let's do this. I mean, the, we 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 are in the special queue, boys. Let's let's not kid ourselves, okay? <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves. This is great. This is great. Anyway, yeah. You know what playing Walker, which, well, English words hard. It is what it is. Anyway, boys, you know which Planeswalker I miss the most, honestly, from the recent ones? It's obviously Professor Nix, boys. Oh, it's obviously Professor Nix. Perfection at its finest. It was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful playing Professor Nix. Some of my best memories are just playing that card. Don't remember the context around it. I just, I just remember playing it, and it was, it was perfection. It made me smile, but this makes me sad because reasons. In any case, I don't think we're exactly losing or anything. It doesn't look like he has much, and he's stupid because he's playing this. So you know, I think we're gonna win this. Uh, but just you know, fair warning if you're playing this. You're gonna encounter a lot of aggro, because if you're value, you don't get to play against other value, because that's illegal. But, pff, red aggro, man, red aggro is just very... How could you not play against red aggro, honestly? That would be illegal, that would be even more illegal. Admittedly, this is probably the best matchup, but this is hilarious. Oh, he got a green land, boys, what a time to be a time. Anyway... Let us do the things and stops. Let's pick this and... Do we need anything else? Uh, we could pick one... 
Yeah, we have four. So we have four basic whites, so I'm gonna pick the green boy. Okay, next turn is gonna be pretty big because we have this bad boy and we have get lost. I don't think I'm even gonna minus three him, honestly. Oh my. What a pie in the sky. Interesting build, to say the least. I actually know what this is. This is not the most crazy, stupid thing in the world, by the way. It's actually almost even reasonable. Okay, no, now, now, now it again becomes completely unreasonable. <laughs> How does this keep happening, I ask? No one knows. But in any case, I drop this, I press plus one, it should be good. Again, remember, your value. And most of our planeswalkers create tokens, which means, well, more value. And by the way, technically a relatively good way to make ourselves a little bit more consistent is putting in the four cost wandering empress she's pretty good obviously right but she's a little bit not that memeish so you know i have questions and i sometimes don't like questions because i'm dumb and questions are hot obviously so let's see how this goes the chances that he actually has removal kind of low because I think he's ditching all of his removal here because he didn't think I actually have anything to play as creatures or anything. So there is a good chance that he doesn't have removal for the start here. And that's when we strike, boys. That's when we strike. In any case, he's thinking. Oh, Lord, he a thinker. Let's see. Probably gonna probably gonna actually do this. Also, I'm gonna cough. I coughed. I, I, I made it so you can't hear it. Oh, professional YouTuber. No, no, no need to thank me. J j just doing my work, boys. You know, it is what it is. Anyway. Oh, that's cute. And extremely stupid. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, 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 that's, that's not good though. On each of them. You could be like a little bit, you know, better, not gonna lie, but you know, it is what it is. So we're gonna do this for one. Uh, since, since we don't actually lose him, I think we're in a good position. Because we're gonna be able to gain life and all of that good jazz, all of that, that good stuff. On Elspeth. Oh, how the tides are changing, boys. How the tides are changing. You know what we can do now? We can minus two. Put blah, blah, blah. Becomes an angel. But that's stupid. So we're not going to do it. But we could. Remember. It's not always about should you or should you not. It's not always about winning or losing. It's typically always about being manly. Because that's what matters at the end of the day. Do not buy anyone. Who tells you, oh, you don't need to be manly. You can be a, a completely blatant loser and it's going to be fine. That's how you get a really bad life, boys. So, do not trust them. Do not listen to them. And seriously, he's playing walking skyscrapers. From zero to hero, how am I even alive at this point? Modified creature, wah. Okay. So, I think we did it, boys. He's gonna get one damage on the Loxodont, but that's absolutely fine. Okay, so, one damage. What a, what a time to be a hero. Also, remember, return all non-lane permanents. We have so many ways of honestly getting things just back from the graveyard. It's kinda insane. Well, at least what Planeswalkers in value. So, I kinda really like it. And there are other things that we can do. Actually... Man, when I start talking about all the value things that we can do, I really feel that we should uh, do it. Because it's not hard, just minus one copy. Because we have so many ways of getting things out of the graveyard. Man, I really want to put in one, uh, one Wandering Empress and one Collector's Vault. God, that would be so value and absolutely insanely good. But I want, I want to contain myself. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, unexpected, but that's a cool. Huh. Should I just minus three him and discover? I'm probably discovering something omega cool. So, I think it would be fine. Do you think he's even gonna attack? Or I should probably continue to 
<laughs> this is how good things start, boys. There we go, Broker's Ascendancy. What a card. What an absolutely amazing card, though. Man. Also, this is not as aggro as I thought. This is like meme aggro, which is which is fine. But what, wait, wait, what's his point here? Playing the Vulcan City? This spell costs for each modified creature. Has hexproof as long as it's untapped. Uh, an 8-8 trample. Uh, very cool, but who honestly cares, right? Anyway, let's do this. Let's find... Doesn't really matter what we find here as long as it's something that's a planeswalker or or maybe another broker's ascendancy could be really good in any case i i am pretty sure we are currently absolutely popping off like there's no tomato and it shows ah put in hand yeah i guess wow that that kind that was horrible well it is the risk the risk of life i like it though i definitely am big fan in any case do this depopulate yeah well, uh, that's the minus of Discover. It doesn't always give you what you want. It kind of Jason gives you what you want, you know? And also, yes, if you think this is a bug, yes, it is. Why? Indie development company that's struggling to put the lights on. Don't, don't, don't be mean against them, okay? They're trying really hard, said probably someone with a lot of delusion points in their character sheet. In any case... Uh, we got the Vren now, which means we are almost able to just randomly replay everything. <laughs> oh, man, when you pop off, you pop off hard. And Alex Pixel is definitely not happy about uh, what what is happening currently. He probably feels slighted. But then again, he's playing garbage and he had three of these and he didn't do absolutely anything. So... A walk-in advertisement for the quality of arena players. It is what it is. In any case, come on. Alex, stop being mad and bad. Just be, you know, mad, I I, I guess. I don't, even, I, don't, I don't even know. In any case, let's do this. And now, let's turn this land into an angel. By the way, there was this one deck that we did where we turned the land into, well, ev everything, literally. It was an angel, it had hexproof, it... It had trample, it had life, lifelink. Oh, it was beautiful, boys. It was truly a masterpiece. Good times. Essentially, we're kind of doing it again, by the way. Okay, we are almost, by the way, there, ready to do big things. It's really easy to win, by the way, when you have these cards out. Obviously, Elspeth would be the best because, you know, flying, first strike, lifelink, all of those counters for effectively free so big fan i don't even know what this does probably nothing yeah he just conceded what a game 10 out of 10 four lands good colors i smell the sus the hell is this an icor drinker i mean icor drinker yeah that's that's about right anyway get lost playable stuff i'm kind of sold but i'm a little bit scared Ah, there we go, there, yeah, there we go. Yeah, there, there we definitely go, boys. Okay, uh, the good part is... No. But, well, actually, no, I have a good shot at, win shot at winning. We have this to deal with enchantments, and we do have this, because remember, still targets uh, artifacts, creatures, or enchantments, which is kind of good for the situation. Also, an Elspeth is not bad here because most of his stuff... Giga Chad. Most of his stuff is still technically a 1-1. One, one. Ooh. Why? Why would you do that? You incomprehensible creature from the, uh, from the deeps. Why would you ever do that? Okay, I think, I think there's no reason for me asking questions. That's just gonna make me sadder. So, I won't. <laughs> yeah, I probably should not. Anyway. Let's see. Surveil one. What is on each? I'm going to get a land. Man, I love these aggro decks always. Getting all the lands in the world. Why, why, uh, 
Oh, oh, stop! Stop doing that! Please stop! Don't! Don't go fun! Don't, don't just don't! Oh my! No! No! no. Just stop buffing one creature! What's wrong with you? Oh my god, I'm gonna have a mental breakdown at this rate! Why? Just why? Why? Oh! Oh, let's do this! Let's do Is it just too much to ask for? I uh, sure. Oh man. Do I drop Elspeth or Zendikar? Hmm. I can drop double. Well, actually, maybe was that was stupid. Maybe I am actually a legitimate opponent for this person. You know what? Actually, you know what? Yeah, I am definitely a worthy opponent for this guy. <laughs> Not funny. Because uh, the lands are gonna be tapped. Well, technically, who cares? Because he's probably not dealing enough damage. But at the same time, kinda annoying. Not gonna lie. Uh huh. Anyway, start off with this. The land's gonna be tapped, but I think it's fine because he still needs to choose what he's actually like doing here, what he's aiming and whatnot. So it's gonna be good. Might as well also just do it like this anyway. Usually you don't even click the one in case of a Vrat, but he's not Vratting, boys. Okay, relax, chillax, it's all good, baby boo. Also, there is a chance I don't even block with the soldier. And I minus two him because he's most likely attacking face at this rate. I mean, look at him. Or don't. Um, um, Amadeus. Might as well call yourself Merlin, my dude. I mean, it is what it is. Okay, he doesn't even attack with the uh, Icar Drinker. No, he does. Uh, Giga Chad moves. I mean, Giga Chad moves for show. Uh, get lost. Not even that bad, honestly. Uh, do this. Do that. Wait, 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 wait. No, I don't even need to attack with that. I can just do this, and it's. We still flip it, and it's still good, and I now have protection. I have a get lost, and chances are he's never actually doing anything that I care about. So, I can just get lost the big cards. Oh boy, man, this playing this game is tough, okay? Playing this game is tough. Crazy. Also, he's drawing more lands than anyone should ever have to draw. Oh, great, here, here we go again, boys. Here we go again. Are you ready? I am. Uh, I am absolutely ready. I kind of like this card a little bit. Ooh. Well, he's gonna be able to buff up this guy once again. She's gonna be sad. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm in a good situation, so I should not complain. We're gonna probably get. Uh... Ooh. Okay. Unearth. Sure. I don't think it matters even if you attack, honestly. This, this, do you think he even attacks? I, ju I can just block with a sky cleave, 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 whatever. Yeah, he's just attacking because he can. Ooh, big plays. Uh, another one. He actually does. Wow, he's trying to prevent the counters, I think, at this rate, but it's really hard for me to tell. Attacks exile card from a graveyard. Is he gonna exile his graveyard? There's no need. Well, actually, he can exile a land and it's kind of value. But at the same time, bro, I am so not sold, okay? I, I am beyond not sold in uh, uh, this situation. Okay, so I wanna actually... I don't care about life too much now, do I? So, technically, my play is just this. I don't even lose a lot. I lose two uh, two life here, so it's completely fine. Yep, this is as good as it gets, I think. Bam. Nothing of value was lost. Unearth ends. Exile. Ahoy. He still can do this, so big plays, big plays. Depopulate. Do we need that? Do we? 
I don't think we do. We can just wait at this rate. We can just wait. It's it's absolutely fine. Then again, I don't see the reason just to pump Elspeth. Well, I do see multiple reasons why I should pump Elspeth, but in a very, very literal sense. Okay? Exactly that literal sense, by the way. Yes, you got me. Also, I should probably play the land. Uh, let's attack with this. Well, actually, let's attack with both, because of Vigilance. And then let's just see what happens. We can draw a value card at any point, and if we do, we probably just... Oh! Oh my god, big Chungus plays. Holy moly. Yeah, I'm definitely a worthwhile opponent for this guy. I can't even blame Wizards for putting me on the same level as him. Well played, Wizards. Your system maybe actually works. Who honestly knows at this point, okay? Who honestly even knows at this point? Mm-hmm. Incubate, too. That's actually kind of almost worthwhile. Huh. No, I actually just like Dart here, and that's pretty much... Wait, he's, he, he smacks with everything. Giga Chad. Okay. Uh, Giga Chad o'clock? I'm still gonna... He didn't do anything, huh? Okay. Does that... The incubation's kind of annoying, but uh, who cares? Another get lost. Oof. Well, again, I don't think it really matters. I could start pumping up the land if I felt like it, but there's no no need. There's there's no nothing I can gain from. Well, I'm gonna stop. Well, I'm gonna use the Elspeth to get the emblem, obviously, and I guess then we're gonna start doing things because uh, funny. But that's gonna probably be it. And also, by the way, yes. A different incubation uh, tokens for different cards exist. So I know we're used to the one that is the Sun's Fall one, which is the bad one. I don't know what, what just happened. Um, I, I don't know what just happened. Oh man, that's, that's one hell of a combo, honestly. Uh, a little bit redundant feels like, but wow, that's that's one hell of a combo. Okay, let's see. My turn. Okay, just instantaneously get rid of it, because why not? <laughs> why not? And he concedes. Amazing. Two lands, but some decent removal. This is not aggro for a change. This is going to be our one in five games not aggro play. It. Okay, that's actually still aggro but we can deal with this we can we can we can deal with this i believe unless he drops the roots right now no evolved sleeper weak i love it okay land uh no land <laughs> obviously in any case he's gonna pump up the evolved sleeper but the evolved sleeper is good for us because that means he's definitely playing something slow and if it's slow we can we can deal with it Okay, pumps up the sleeper, uh, let's get lost here considering I want to save my HP and I want to remove this. Hopefully, oh, that's a land, that's actually really good. Okay, fourth land and if it's green we play Invasion of Zendikar and we're kind of popping off, not gonna lie. So, let's see how this goes. A shade. Shady stuff, huh? Get it? I'll, 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 I'll show myself out the door. Okay, it, this is fine. <laughs> he got a land. I wish I had that. Do it again. Be the man your father never was. He didn't. Well, in that case, uh, disappear like your father did. And let's put the cat on purple. Amazing. So, what is, what is Gandalf gonna do? Nothing, because we're drawing a land. Well, it was a land, technically. We're on point, boys. Any other land that's not these colors, and we're actually gonna pop off like there's no tomorrow. Do you think he's gonna wrestle his cottages? That would be super annoying. He shreldreds. I can actually deal with that. I can accept that. He's probably gonna map, find another land. Hmm. Let's see, is it the land? Yes, it is! Why? 
Because that's the equivalent of wizards spitting in our faces. He has reanimation, obviously. So, not good. <sighs> hey, it's a life, boys. You know? It's, it's maybe not glamorous. But it's all we got at the end of the day. Okay. Another one. Jeez Louise, my dude. My, my, my boy. Stop. Well, at least we can do this. He technically just draws a card with it and we're out of st <laughs> What do you mean? This is like a 1% probability of draws. No green, no red, and the majority of cards require green and red. Are you kidding me? I'm actually kind of seriously offended right now. Wow. Okay, you know what? I take it back. I'm completely cheeks. He just got a Shredred again. Jeez Louise. Our boy is- ah! No, seriously, this is like a 1% chance of RNG happening right here in front of us yet again. Wizards, stop. Stop. This is why Arena is failing. This- This is why no one wants to play this game. At least we got a Vrad, boys, but again, it's like... The, the probability of this is almost zero. Especially combined with these draws. I mean, like, clap your hands, everybody, if you, if you can't clap your hands. Oh, boy. But no, we're getting the right land now. Why? Are you kidding me? Dude, this guy is gonna be so surprised when he finally sees us not drop... I'll just, I'll just, I'll just find myself. I, I'll just, I'll just show myself out for good. Okay, wizards. Are you happy then? Okay. He's gonna attack me with the restless cottage. I have absolutely no way of outplaying this because, I mean, reasons. Oh, no, he, well, I told you he has that, so, uh. Okay, good, good, boys, good. We, we did it. Giga Chad, Ultra Chad plays. Uh, we, we got it. A, a faithful absence. I, I just I just I just want I just want to thank everyone me for trying hard uh, my opponent for being the lovable person that he never was my family my friends uh, my cat obviously my parrot everyone okay everyone this game could have not happened without you you see and now by the way I'm gonna finally get to land because now it no longer matters what happens. There is no way for me to win. Even a Vrat doesn't help. So, uh, there we kinda go. There we kinda go. A Chimmel. I mean, uh, Are we gonna get something that's useless? Yes. What are we gonna get? I'm assuming a uh, Vrat. Because again, a v if we cast a Vrat now, it doesn't matter because the Restless Cottage still hits us and there's nothing that can be done about it. There we go, a Vrat. How do I know the exact sequence of things? Because this is the only sequence of things that make sure that we lose. Anything else probably means that we win. Because keep in mind, this guy's deck is kind of horrible. You can't play Shades, you can't play any of this garbage uh, without, you know... Did he just mess up? Yes, he did. Again, there's probably roughly a 1%, less than a 1% chance that RNG ever looks like this, but there we go. Just another casual game. Gotta love it, boys. Gotta love it. Going first, two lands, honestly not even that bad. I'll take it. And if we get a third land, it could be good. And there we go. Instantaneous red aggro. Uh, why? Because it's obviously illegal to play something like this, like Planeswalkers, against something that's control. Didn't you, did, did you not know? Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of this. Uh, play something that good that's good against aggro. Value City, okay? It is what it is, boys. Uh, play non-aggro. Well, congr con play, uh, play something like Planeswalkers. Well, congratulations. It's Aggro City, baby. Ah. Oh. It never fails now, does it? 
Well, we do have Rel uh, Vrend Realm Breaker, which is kind of good because this gives us options. Oof! Well, that doesn't actually get rid of Vrend, so... Well, maybe we actually can get the Vrat. Who honestly knows? We did not officially get the Vrat, which is kind of a little bit concerning. But I can still kind of do this, and I think we're going to be fine for the most part. Also, I can actually just hit him because of reasons. Okay, so here's hoping that this works out. I think he's going to try and buff what... Oh! Okay, okay, I mean... Sure, be special. Oh, wow, even a Phoenix Hatchling. Okay. Uh, cat on purple, because... The world... The J Savatar never fails, boys. It's a work of art, honestly, at this point. And it's also a work of art how... Dude, wizards... I'm, I'm sorry, but do you honestly think anyone sees this normal? Play something that has value in Planeswalkers. Get three lands. Have fun, sweet cheeks. Play anything else. Uh, lands on curve for the rest of your life. And next time, uh, next game, I'm gonna be land flooded, obviously, because again, two plus two equals at least two hundred trillion when it comes to wizards. Big brain moves, as one might say. And that's super overpowered, and, I mean, I can still draw uh, a land and technically just brat and win, but this is slightly annoying. Okay. Okay, Gig Gigabrain, Gigabrain. Okay, I mean, he, he, I think he learned just now, it's hard to tell, it's a Jace Avatar Red Aggro player. In a situation where I'm land starved and, uh, yeah, land? Boys, it's simple at the end of the day. You either win, or you win, or you don't. I mean, I mean pick one. Okay, so, good things are good, and let's see how it goes. I can technically bump up the sol uh, soldier token if we're lucky enough. Yeah, he did the thing. He did the smart thing, boys. I am not. I am not proud of our enemy right here. Okay, he did. G are you a joke? Yes, you are. <laughs> oh God, you're such a joke, Jace. Oh my God, he's a stupid joke. He's not just a joke. He's the worst kind of joke. He's he's literally clueless. Well, that literal cluelessness is technically gonna. Probably result still in him winning at this rate, honestly. Unless we draw a lane, in which case we can uh, brokers plus fatal absence. But you know, who honestly knows what happens here? If he was smart, he would just attack me with everything, and I would lose. But again, we are talking about an extremely gifted individual here, okay? And as you can see, he's Man, he is really putting that gifted part to the test here, right? Wait, is this only... Wait, 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 so you're telling me I'm... Okay. Do you think we're gonna get to land, though? That would be amazing. Kinda hard to tell if that's gonna happen, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, oh, we did get a land. Okay, in that case, do this. Oh, I can't even play Broker's Ascendancy because I didn't... Oh, I got only basic lands, huh? Well, it's as impressive as you would expect from me, boyos. In any case... Hmm... Yeah, I need to get rid of this instantly. Uh, what else after that, though? Do I even have any options? I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. Do I attack? Probably not. I'm probably gonna need all the blocks I can get, honestly, here. Huh. How do we even do this? I mean, the chances that we survive are very slim. It is what it is. But you know, life could be worse. Ah, who am I kidding? Life is the literal verse that we, we have. Remember when Taylor Swift used to be cool, lovable, and likable? Yeah, and now she's this satanic joke of, you know, mo modernicity. Ugh, and essentially it's just a semen demon now. Yeah, sad times. Sad times upon humanity, boys. Not sadder than the IQ this, J uh, this player is performing right now and showing to the world. And, well, technically he's actually less sad. 
The irony, by the way. This guy is technically less sad than the commenter that's inevitably gonna comment You called him bad player, but you lost against him! On each end, please. Do you know how to tie knots? Because, man, you probably should learn how to tie knots at this point. Okay, I think we sur He has three cards. There is literally no world where we actually don't die. Yeah, that, yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, it was a miracle that we survived this long, but... God, I hate this game so much. It's just uh, unbelievable. 